Get it in the oven. Oh yeah, you're right. Chef Buck here, and today we're gonna cook up a cheeseburger pie. Oh yeah. Pie, cheeseburger. <laughs> cheeseburger pie. Cheeseburger pie. Now the first thing you want to do is you want to partially bake your pie crust. Now this is a nine inch deep dish pie crust. You know, you can make your own from scratch. It's a cheeseburger pie. So a store bought deep dish pie crust, you can live with that. But you want to poke a bunch of holes in it, you know, so it doesn't bubble up and uh, get all warped and whatnot. And you want to bake it for about 10 minutes, you know, get a little bit of color on it. And then you want to pull it out and let it cool. So now we got our partially baked cooled pie crust. We'll set this aside. Now we're going to heat up our skillet. And then we're going to take one pound of ground beef and we're going to brown this up. So we're going to take a few minutes and get a little color on our beef. And once we've got a good amount of color on our beef, we're going to go ahead and throw our onion in here. And this is some finely chopped onion. Get it all mixed up. I got a little bit of garlic powder, salt, pepper, a little hot pepper right there, a little chili powder. But you know, use whatever seasoning you like. We want to have a nice, flavorful cheeseburger pie. So now we'll leave this alone, let these onions uh, cook up for a few minutes. Alright, so I've had this cooking for a couple of minutes, and there's not really a lot of fat in here, because I'm using a lean ground beef, but if there is some fat in here, you want to go ahead and drain that fat off right now, before we add this next thing, which is cream cheese. i got about a quarter cup of softened cream cheese, and I'm going to go ahead and turn this stove top off, because we really don't need it on anymore. And I'm just going to mash my cheese up here and get it mixed up with my beef. Make it nice and creamy. Then I got a little bit of milk I'm going to add in here. Get it all nice and mixed up. And I've got my burner turned off and I'm going to go ahead and leave this to sit there. Now I'm going to go ahead and take a mixing bowl. Crack me three eggs in here. So we'll go ahead and whisk our eggs up here with this horrible whisk. Boom, boom, boom. I'm going to throw in a little Worcestershire sauce. It's always a good flavor in hamburgers. And the key to a cheeseburger pie, I think what really makes it taste cheeseburgery, is mustard and pickles. So we're going to add some chopped pickles into our mixture, although we're going to top it with some pickles too. What kind of pickles did you use? Uh, I used an amalgamation of pickles. Uh, I had some nice hamburger dills to go on top, but I didn't have enough, so I just uh, chopped up some uh, some dill pickles here. But any kind of pickles you want. Now I got a whole bunch of cheese here, and I'm going to throw almost all of it in here. And sometimes I put all of it in, but I'm going to reserve a little bit uh, to top the pie with later. But you don't have to do that. I kind of almost, I go back and forth. Uh, sometimes I put a little cheese on top, sometimes I don't. I actually like the way it looks without the cheese on top. Because you can see more of your yeah, yeah, yeah. top pickle garnish. But some people don't like that look. Some crazy people. And this is freshly shredded cheddar cheese. Use whatever kind of cheese you like. I'm going to take my egg and cheese mixture. Go ahead and put it in my pan. We'll spread this all along the bottom. Boom, boom, boom. Now I'm going to take my meat mixture, kind of spread this all along the top. And you want to be careful and just use one pound of beef. You know, sort of be kind of careful with your measurements. Because I've made it before and used too much ground beef. But you kind of want to make sure that it all fits into the pie crust. Alright, so we want to get our hamburger spread out nice and even over our pie crust here. Boom, boom, boom. And then we're going to take a little yellow mustard. Don't use any fancy pants mustard. A lot of times I say don't use yellow mustard, but this is one of those occasions where yellow mustard is perfect because you want it to taste like a burger. And we're going to take a little bit of mustard and swirl it all around as much as you like. And I like it. Then we're going to take some of our pickle pieces, you know, some rounds and some hamburger chips that I've cut in half. Whatever kind of pickles you like, or wickles, or whatever it is, we're just going to decorate the top of our pie. This looks like a work of art, man. This is a pickle Picasso. You know, if you like pickles, give it a try. If you don't like pickles, what's an alternative? Uh, then uh, make my mom's lemon meringue pie. 
I'll have a link around here. Oh. If you don't like pickles, then you don't need to be making a cheeseburger pie, man. That's beautiful. All right, let me slide this over here. Let me pick up this big old heavy pie tin. Boom. Set it on a pan. Look how beautiful that is. Press these pickle pieces down, you know, get it nice and even and level. Looks like a fancy futuristic musical instrument. Boop, 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 boop. Get it in the oven. Oh yeah, you're right. I'm having a caffeine withdrawals. So now we'll go ahead and slide it in the oven. Boom. Preheated at 375 degrees. We'll let it cook away. Come back later and check on it. Beep, 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 beep. Alrighty. Let's take a look at it. Looks perfecto. Looks like it leaked out of my pie crust a little bit there over the sides, but it will all survive. I like the look of it with that little mustard swirl and those pickles on there. But if you want to, while it's still warm, you can take a little bit of cheese and sprinkle around the top here and let it melt on there. But we're not going to cut into this right away. We'll let it set for a little bit. If you were to slice it right now, it'd fall apart. You know, if you like cheeseburger and you like pie, then this is the perfect combination. And if you like making cheeseburgers for dinner and you want it to be all fancy pants, like if you got a high-powered CEO coming over. What? And you want to make cheeseburgers, but you also want to impress them, you know, if it's a new boss, maybe. Make him a cheeseburger pie, and that way he'll know that, uh, you're classy. All right, you looking forward to some cheeseburger pie, camera girl? Oh, yeah. All righty, so there you have it. It's been sitting around for about an hour and a half. It'll still be a little bit warm inside, but not piping hot. Looks nice and mustardy and pickledy. Lost a little crust there. Boom. Take care of that. Boom, boom. Dun, 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 look at that. Look at that pie perfection there. Hey, look at that pickly, mustardy, cheesy goodness there. And this will taste exactly like a cheeseburger. That's a cheeseburger, dog. Now, I made this with very lean ground beef. So I really didn't have to drain any fat off of here, but if you don't use super lean ground beef, make sure and drain that fat off before you add it into the pie shell. Otherwise, it'll be a greasy mess. You don't want it to be a greasy pie. I'm going to take a big, big bite. Oop. That was a big bite. Mm-hmm. Mm. The pickle's still crunchy. Yeah, I really mm. like having the pickles all on top like this. There's just no doubt about what it is. It's a cheeseburger pie. You still eating, camera girl? <laughs> well, we, we got to shoot a video. Here, go ahead. you got to finish your camera girl duties. <laughs> yeah, hold on. You'll get a piece in a second. If you want to print the recipe, go to myfoodchannel.com. You can print all our recipes. Link down below. Thanks for subscribing. You know, thumbs it up, comment, blah, blah, blah. i got to get a piece of pie. We'll see you in the future. Bye-bye. <laughs>